A shared space is about more and not less. I'm Ray Coleman, I work for IKEA as an interior designer. I'm going to give you some tips and other ideas on how to achieve your own space. In my first example, I've started with storage as a room divider. I've added bedside tables to increase the storage and to personalize the space more. I've added two beds to strengthen the symmetry of the room. Textile and children's toys personalize the room. Rugs and color coordinate the different personalities that live in the room. You get two rooms in one. So in our second example, here we started with a long narrow room. I've put the beds headboard to headboard for maximised floor space. To create privacy in this room, I use a textile curtain as a room divider. We can pull the curtain and the room is open for the kids to play. The starting point in this room was that I wanted to create a cosy corner for a young girl. To create this cosiness, I've added textile over the bed and to the sides. But the family's growing and she now shares her room with her little brother. So I created a cosy little space for them each. Actually, we did this room for real. Both have shelves over their bed to put their favorite things on. The toys can be stored under the bed in boxes that suit the personalities of the children. So here we have it, comfort and companionship plus your own space and your own things is the best of both worlds.